I am here with Terrell Collier of Collier Arbor Care. And Terrell, we're going to be talking today about uh, about a, an insect that is relatively new to our area, but really, in your mind, is is awfully bad. Yes, well, I've named it now the number one ornamental shrub problem. Wow. And that's called the azalea lace bug. So tell us, first of all, let, let's do a quick history. Is it something that's really, really new, or has it been around and we just haven't noticed it? Well, there are several different kinds of lace bugs. Yeah. And new to our area is the azalea lace bug. And though we've had several other species of lace bugs that get on rhododendrons and also um, on Indian plum, mm -hmm. but the azalea lace bug gets on both rhododendrons and azaleas, and it has been horrible the last several years. Because it is unlike the one that uh, tended to lean toward the rhododendrons, the azalea one really is aggressive. <laughs> it is very aggressive, and in a very short time, uh, people could have no problem in their yard, and then the next year, every plant can be infested, every leaf on every Azalea and rhododendron yeah. can be infested. Now, and we try to keep you, as give you the most up to the current news that we can on things like this. But this one, I mean, you can see right here is a, a sign of it comes out pretty okay in the spring, but they, I think May is when they're really starting to explode. That's right. So we're looking at new foliage up here, but you can see the older yeah. damaged foliage. And what happened, so they overwinter as eggs and mm -hmm. they lay their eggs on the underside of the wow. leaf. Okay, so you can see um, their damage and kind of their excrement, the mm -hmm. black kind of tar spots on the back. They lay their eggs right here. And then in May, just as the ah. new growth is coming out, then they will hatch out into little nymphs and then they will migrate to the new growth. Okay, and that's when they do the sucking part that damages it? That's correct. So okay. all lace bugs are sucking type of insects okay. and they suck the plant juices out. That's why this looks so blotched. So Terrell, at Collier's, you do have a, a couple of options to address this issue in a garden. Yes, um, there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. You can either do it um, organically, but there are also some very good uh, non-organic types of controls with systemic materials. Mm -hmm. Now, systemic means that it can be uh, treated on one side of the plant on the leaves and it will be absorbed into the plant and control the sucking insects on the bottom part. Okay. So those are the most effective. And, and you don't have to be quite as thorough in your applications. But we can do this organically with uh, soaps and oils, and, uh, but we have to be very thorough and we have to get the treatment on the bottom side of the leaf and on every single leaf. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll still have an infestation. And if you miss one leaf, then and since they're aggressive, that's just like giving them right away to go at it again. Yes, <laughs> and because they spread so rapidly, yeah. there are multiple, probably about three generations a year of lace bugs um, that get on your azaleas wow. and rhododendrons. So you really want to catch them and take care of them. And it's not going to be a one-time thing. It's going to take some, some effort to get rid uh, of them. Yes, unfortunately, they're going to be kind of like root weevil in yeah. the fact that you will probably never get rid of them. You will need to manage them. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, you know, we love our azaleas and roadies here in the Northwest, and, and it really bothers us when we see them declining and think we have to get rid of them. But before you make that decision, give a Collier Arbor Care a call and see if they can help you out. Thank you yeah, so much. Thank you very much. Don't cut your azaleas <laughs> down, okay? Don't cut them down. Call we first. can treat them. <laughs>